AO's P ROMs are meant for its stock and its experience, whereas Resurrection Remix ROM is meant for its customization. Over here we have Havoc ROM, which is a mixture of both. But can this be used as a daily driver? Let's find out. Havoc ROM is a mixture of both AO's P ROM and the Resurrection Remix ROM. That means it'll be giving you the stock and edit experience at the same time it's giving you tons of customization features. Installing this ROM, you'll be needing a custom re recovery just like TWRP or anything else and you'll be requiring two files which is the ROM and the GApp file. I'll be leaving all the link in the description, check that out. Go to the first link in the description, it'll be taking you to a XTA page. Over there, you'll be getting the link for both the ROM and the GApps. Make sure you're downloading the latest version of it. Once you're done with it, press and hold on to your power button and your volume up button. It'll be taking you to your recovery. Then go to the wipe section, select advanced wipe and now select Dalvik system, data and cache. Do not select internal storage and micro SD card. Once you're done with it, swipe and your device will be wiped. Navigate to your install section, select the ROM file and swipe. It will take approximately 5 minutes to install the ROM. Now navigate to your GApp file and do the same thing. Just swipe and it will take somewhere around 2 to 3 minutes to install. And make sure you are downloading the 8.1 ARM64 version of the GApp folder. You can install anything, micro or mini, anything will do. Once you're done installing, tap on the reboot system. The first boot is going to take somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes. Once device booted, first thing which you'll be noticing is the stock Android experience. So this is achieved because of a launcher called Ruthless Launcher and they have an icon pack which is pre-applied. For accessing the customization settings, you can go to your settings and there will be a separate section called Havoc settings and once you go over there, you will be getting tons and tons of customization options. One of my favorite feature is the ambient display in that you can turn off half of the pixels which will help you in saving a lot of battery. There are many more features which can't be mentioned in this video but if you want to try all of them I would definitely suggest you to go and give this ROM a try. This all brings us to a final question. Can this ROM be used as a daily driver? My answer to it is yes. Everything in this device seems to work and this can be used as your daily driver. But I want to mention few flaws with this ROM that is the battery life. The battery life of this ROM is above average, it is not the best, it's not as efficient as a MIUI ROM. Another flaw which I really want to mention is the lag. The ROM used to lag for me but this was fixed once I rebooted my device and some app used to crash in this one too. Other than this, this ROM is an excellent one. If you are looking for both stock and red experience and customization features, I would definitely tell you to go ahead and try this ROM. That's it for the video guys, if you like the video, please smash the like button and if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and tap on the bell mark so that you can be notified with my future videos. Other than it's me signing off, like, share, subscribe and don't forget, peace out.